Hey, how are you doing? It's another beautiful day in paradise and I'm going to share with you another video Facebook live. And today I want to talk about why no one is paying attention to you. And this is a complaint that I hear all the time. Okay. I actually see it all over social media. Um, I have been in that um, particular position myself, so I know what it feels like. And I want to share a few insights with you that have helped me sort of overcome this hurdle whenever I feel like no one's watching and I'm just speaking into a black abyss and there's no one there. The truth is that a lot of people are watching what you're doing, even if no one's commenting, if no one's interacting. But it can be very um, draining on your energy and on your um, mojo, really, on your inspiration when you feel like you're just sharing amazing content and nobody pays attention. Now, if we haven't met before, my name's Monica Mandel and I work with female entrepreneurs and I help them create profitable and fun messaging and marketing strategies that help them skyrocket their profits. And I also teach women how to systemize and automate their processes and their business so they can create a business that gives them the freedom and peace of mind that they crave and actually what they you know started the business with and the reason why no one is paying attention to you number one reason is actually the biggest one and it is the stop and go marketing i don't know whether you've seen the movie now you see me now you don't but it is a bit like that you know you're, you're a bit like a magician who um, pops up out of nowhere um, with content, with amazing content to share, and then weeks later you disappear, and nobody ever know, um, you know, nobody knows where you are, what's going on, and so you kind of um, sabotaging your own momentum because, you know, when you drop uh, your uh, consistency, the way that you share your content, then obviously your um, potential clients and your listeners and your viewers, they're dropping out and they're going elsewhere. Our attention span is very, very short and it gets shorter all the time. And we have to blame social media for that. But as an entrepreneur, we need social media as a, as a business tool. Like it, it is a great tool. You can obviously market a business without social media, but for those of us who are online, social media is a great tool to um, promote the business, to share content, to educate and entertain our readership, our listeners. And this is how we build the trust that then eventually leads to a sale. Okay. So if you stop and go all the time and, you know, now you see me, now you don't kind of situation, then of course nobody's paying attention to you because every time you reappear, you have to build up that momentum. You can do that quite quickly, but it takes an, an incredible amount of energy and it actually takes a lot more energy to do the stop and go stuff than it does to, uh, to do the slow race and to do a little bit and drip feed your content over time. So maybe look at um, if you're trying, if, if you're consistently um, over planning your goals and you're not meeting them, then it's usually because you're um, not working correctly or you are overestimating your ability to create and share. So maybe you need to pull back um, a little bit on how often do you want to um, share content and, and then you can at least hold that. Reason number two is your messaging is out of alignment with your ideal audience. And that usually happens is because you are um, copying other people. Uh, you're influenced by what they are doing because you scroll social media and you're trying to sort of emulate their success. And that what that does is it actually um, makes you depressed and it steals your mojo because your, your inspiration goes, goes away when you are trying to be somebody else that you're not. So you need to get back into alignment with your values, um, into, you know, get really clear about what matters to you, why you're in business, who you actually want to work with, and then realign and readjust your message so that it is actually aligned with the type of person that you want to work with.
So if you want to realign your messaging, your marketing with the essence of you so that you can feel congruent, you can feel um, authentic, you can feel that um, what you're sharing is actually aligned with who you are, with your values, I'm giving away three 20-minute calls this week um, to women in business who are serious about making these changes. So if you're serious to making these changes and you're ready to take action, but you're not quite sure what you need to do or what you need to focus on, then um, request a call in the comments below. The first three who actually book uh, will get the slots. And this is strictly limited because I've got a little bit of extra time that I can give to you. So, um, you know, this, this is not something that I'm giving away often. So if you want one of these slots, you know, tell me in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we'll set up a time to chat. So this is me today. Have a wonderful day. And let me know in the comments below, what was your number one takeaway from this video? I'd love to know. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow.